Mangus. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the Okay. Howdy, it's Sunday the 21st, um, April. So 421. Yesterday was 420. Oh my. So <laughs> today's the 21st. It's Sunday, so we'll do a little old and new. But um, my mind is on this. I mean, this is like, it's my calendar. This is today, and that's like the day of procedure. And so today it begins. Low residual diet. So grandfather. Yeah, grandfather knows. <laughs> give a perspective okay this is a GoPro and um, purgatory purgatory well we'll pray for those in purgatory okay here's a, a long tube and here's a where GoPro. so if you put a GoPro like on the end of a tube like a really long tube yeah this is uh on one of those little hospital gowns and just lie down. You can stay awake for it if you want to. <laughs> just, just knock me out. Tell me when it's over with. But the whole thing is low residual diet. And uh, boy, oh god, it starts today. So I basically, it's like um, no high fiber. Just limit. It's like limit right now for a day or two. Nuts, seeds, vegetables. So no can eat this. <laughs> no can have cookie. No. No oatmeal stuff, granolas and seeds and nuts. Vegetables and fruits have lots of fiber too. So, you know, it's like people, it's the skin, the skin of the apple, really. The skin of the potato. That's the fiber. And so. What year is it? What year is it? It's 2024. And we're all gonna go, but gotta do a little old and new because <laughs> because gonna invite God to do it. It's Sunday, that's why. So we got the light. Uh huh. A little out of the old, little out of the new. We'll be quick and uh, no commentary. So just bedroom. Right. Yeah, old. Second. Kings 6. The miracle You're back. of the axe head. Now the company of the prophets said, Elisha, as you see, the place where we live under your charge is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan and let us collect logs there, one for each of us, and build a place where there for us to live. He answered, Do so. Then one of them said, Please come with your serpents. And he said, I will. And he, so he went with them, and they came to Jordan, and they cut down trees. But as one was felling a log, his axe head fell into the water, and he cried out. Alas, master, it was borrowed. Then the man of God said, where did it fall? When he showed him the place, he cut off a stick and threw it in there and made an iron and made the iron float. Pick it up. He reached out his hand and took it. Oh, thank you, God. New with rubric. Is there a rubric in there? Nope. Try again. Oh. I see red. There. Okay. This is Matthew uh, 22. It's right there. Once more, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying... The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet to his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is in everything is in ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, uh, another to his business, while the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. Don't the, leave. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. 
Then he said to the slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go there, therefore, unto the main streets. Invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out to the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But the king came in and said to his guests, and notice that the man there is not wearing a wedding robe. He said to them, Friend, how did you get in without wearing a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness where he will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Wait. The guy didn't have a robe? So... Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. That was a parable. I don't know what it means. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, gosh. Okay, so, um... Let's, let's just be quick. I am nervous for Wednesday and um, just doing this. And, um, uh, well, there's like disastrous weather about. Those guys in the national, freaking international freaking thing, they're deciding whether they're going to blow each other up. Uh, mm, and basically, Trump's trial's starting tomorrow. So that's the, oh my gosh. It's unbelievable um, that it's, oh, finally, this is the one, though. It's probably going to be the only one before the main uh, November election, I guess. But it's a criminal trial, and he's going to be in court doing all this kind of stuff, and it's... Oh my gosh. So the jury's like selected and opening arguments are Monday. And that's that. It's just like <laughs> So that's that. In news of Hawaii, we have this. Basically tourist tax. <laughs> we tax the tourists. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be Earth Day tomorrow, so I was gonna show like something earthy. I had this little stick, this little piece of driftwood that looked like a little Yoda stick, but all I got is this one. It's a pretty hefty stick. It's like one of these uh, one of these trees that was cut down. Work. It's pretty it's like a nice little Yoda you know, stick. And then that and then the golden news lasha through the stick. And then the axe head fell. Or Let's look what's in uh, the, uh, the 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 news here. Right here. Hawaii news. And so, look at the beach. Tourists. Change. Tourist tax. <laughs> That's right. So the Im impact fee for tourists it was going to be fifty bucks, twenty five bucks, whatever. State. <laughs> There's a. I think it's twenty five bucks when you get. I don't. Well. The effort to increase the state held up to tw by 25 bucks, so increased by 25 bucks. So it's already there, but it, but the whole impact fee is dead for now. But the idea is expected to be retooled because <laughs> it has a T. Tourist tax is going to be tooled again. <sighs> Visitors, they get enough of getting expensive. It gets too expensive, and they just go to Jamaica. Aruba, <laughs> we're going to get you. Local news: Why businesses committed to coming to islands? Summit to the islands, getting ready for launch. They're making rose sticks. <laughs> is this like the the toothpick stuff? I mean, this is like what do you call it? The popsicle stick thing going on here? Oh, the paper lanterns. That's okay. It's the paper lanterns. It's going to be the Bond Festival. Uh, ancestor worship or you know you honor your honor the deads and your family and, and the little lanterns go up with little prayers and stuff and i don't know it's a japanese bond festival thing and they win they won and it's long beach <laughs> it's not uh long beach won volleyball that's it that's it that's it i guess long beach won volleyball over um uc irvine because the Warriors are like... Well, I don't know what we're going to do here. we got to just do... But uh, they were number three. And they won Irvine. Boo, 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 boo. And baseball. Back in the day, maybe. Just just calm down. Relax. Remember when we relax in 1981? 
We're actually just kind of. Uh, I see you. Have a have a chat party with uh, your salad. So, right when I have low residual diet day starting. Ellen Gilbert hams it up with Madam X, one of the prize winners of the University of White Art Department's Edible Art. This is what it is. Eat your art out. Annoying. Gilbert's entry Where was am I? annoying. Stop it. It's it's Helen. She said just composed of a head of cabbage and entire vegetable garden worth of features. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I I can't eat vegetables, there's too much fiber. Not for a few days. No. Gardens of stone. Hmm. That's why I, I could do this zen kind of thing going on. Ugh, what's this? <laughs> in, in, in Oslo, this is some type of relaxing Frogner, relaxing Frogner Park. With this kid's like Laura, throwing babies and kicking Please them stop. Off. What the heck? And then there's a canoe. Oh, wow, that's nice. Huh? Clearing the day. It is tomorrow, Earth Day. Clearing the air. Why are you here? Because Earth Day's tomorrow. Why are you here? What kind of question is that? Oh, oh here we go. Political cartoon. Mike Johnson, Speaker of the House. Oh, not for long. And it's spring planting for Marjorie Taylor Greene. She really wants... Because this guy isn't following the total... Told the line for the ultra-right uh, GOPers. The, the MAGA GOPers. Like Marjorie. Space lasers. Sounds like a conspiracy theory too, or still... I don't know. What, where do they go? Mm, yeah. What people believe. Okay, what do we got here? Don't do these families, lawmakers, you could do save the aquarium. Here we go. Don't believe the lies. Trump is a criminal. Perhaps the author of the recent letter understands how Donald Trump's Attorney General, Bill Barr, put his finger on the scales of justice numerous times and that Trump has promised to do so if re-elected since he believes that's what presidents do. Biden is a dictator using agencies to ruin Trump's right article April 16th. Of course, he laughingly denies Trump. Trump ever did it. See the Mueller report or Michael Cohen or Jeffrey Burham as proof of the fact. The other misinformation is somehow Trump is being targeted by Biden. Actually, he is being targeted even if he be, be even if Mickey Mouse were president. Even he would be, he would be even if Mickey Mouse was president. <laughs> Trump is a criminal. To think there is some massive conspiracy involving Federal Bureau of Investigation, Justice Department, and Democratic leaning courts would be funny. If it weren't so sad, it's not what people are saying Trump would do. It's Trump who has promised it. Jim Keefe talking in tutu voice. <laughs> Wait, Kiki. Oh, thank you there, Jim. Oh, thank you, talking in tutu voice there, Jim. It's just weird. Yeah. Mm. What people believe? Um, you know, I don't know. They had this Fire. this promotion of the truth is not the truth. I mean, you know, the, the don't listen to mainstream media. Because they're not how, the truth. They're just like reporting stuff. It's kind of pretty much factual. It's when they get into the talking head things and the opinions that's get weird. But then they got some weird, 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 weird. QAnon things that where they threw in there. Yeah, that telling the truth. The real truth is what they're making pizzas out of babies. I'm scared. <laughs> There's some type of apparently um, it's like the Jedi mind trick works for a bunch of people and a bunch of people still really really believe the MAGA right. stuff and you know the big lie and everything and if people really really believe it it's hard to unbelieve it I guess but I think mostly the motive its motivation they think that guy's gonna win so we're gonna buy that guy so we can have our agenda forward and that's the main thing that's why and they're gonna be loyalists to all and thinking Biden is gonna win and he I guess there's still possibility because JFK Jr. No, Robert, Robert Kennedy Jr. That's the guy, the guy with the voice. The guy talk, oh my gosh. He's got some, uh, he's supposed to be kind of vocal for a politician. He's, uh, it, it can cringe when he speaks. He has some ideas. But it's inside. It's kind of a Trump-Biden thing again. We just gotta accept it. It's a Trump-Biden thing again. RFK Jr. Jr. Robert Kennedy Jr. 
entering the race is like, yay, we got a third party, we got some, it's not just a t between two evils, we get a third choice, but it's still gonna be one or those in the long term end. So Robert Kennedy Jr. entering the race is like, it could knock away some votes from Biden and the Trump Biden thing is sort of close, but it's not that close. Anyways, it's, um, it's a mess, but it's the democratic thing in progress. <laughs> it turns out right. Anyways, have a great day. <laughs> I gotta find out where am I going with this? Where am I? Oh, uh, yeah. Low fibers today. Anyways, aloha. Have a great day. Aloha to you. I'm gonna be wearing oatmeal, fruit, and vegetables, and eggs. That's cool. Yeah.